That's where Rizoras was born. Oh, these guys were 17 when this troop started. So three or four 17-year-olds and me, and it was very much like the work I have to do as a camp counselor of, I'm gonna separate you guys right now, take two minutes, and then talk to each other like adults. For a long time, the only way I could be liked by people was by making jokes and being funny. That's still by far the easiest way I can relate to people. This is my high school graduation photo. By the time I graduated from high school, I was voted the class. Uh, I was voted most outgoing by the class, which is insane. And I think that was because I finally, in high school, learned to learn to use comedy. People literally changed their opinion of me at, uh, over time because I learned to connect with them through humor. Like this is the way I learned. I, I learned to uh, cross the bridge between myself and the rest of the world. This is how I learned to have an identity by. Uh, by making jokes. We want to sell out Earth. This is definitely the most challenging show we've had. We want aliens to come to the show and be turned away because it's full. There's parts that are screwed up. There's parts the audience doesn't get. But we're realistic. So if the aliens get in, that's OK, too. I've been more stressed than I have been in the past. We're hypersensitive because something's irritating us from the inside. I'm saying that I feel upset. All of this stuff that's hard, that's difficult for us, this is what we get for starting Asperger's R Up. When you have Asperger's, you can do things that are really, really great. Not in spite of having autism, but through it. It, it made me feel sad in a way that you cock blocking my creativity did because it made me have don't to watch that. myself. That's a thing to say. I know, and I'm I don't know how else to say it because it made me feel really bad because I was well, like, you know what? Some all all lot of the times the things you say make me feel really bad. For instance, when we're together and you mm -hmm. just in a monotone voice say that's stupid or that's not a good joke when it's just totally not necessary. You do this all the time. So no, I love the guys in Asperger's R Us. I think their positives outweigh their negatives, definitely. We do piss each other off, but we're like brothers. Burgers are us. We're really, really grateful that you're here. Uh, it's true we're the first comedy troupe composed of people on the autism spectrum. So if we're not funny, blame it on Ethan's disability. I was born with no soul. <laughs> we came up with this totally original new show, and um, we're gonna debut it for you tonight. Enjoy the show. The president gets here soon. This is the biggest scandal since I don't know when. 1884? Yeah, maybe that Maria Haplin thing. Oh yeah, the Maria Haplin scandal. Grover Cleveland, I, this might be bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> I think the president's coming in now. Thank you all for coming. I believe we all know why I've called this press conference. So let's get right to the questions. Yes, sir. Why did you decide to marry a train? I wanted to make an honest train out of her. Have you thought about the possibility of having kids? I just hope that if we do have kids, They'll be more like their mother, who's always on time, and not like their father, who is delayed. <laughs> Next question. So, how's your sex life? I assume it's just like anyone else's. I'll go into her and ride her to a wonderful place. Oh, like, uh, like uh, a South Station? Are you a pervert? <laughs> North Station. First of all, yes, I am a pervert. Thank you for your honesty. 
<laughs> Great idea, train schedule man. I like it. No problem. After all, the train is the best way to travel. Shut up. The bus is the best way to travel. We will ride the number one out of Newburyport and transfer in Lynn to the number 47. Bus schedule man. My arch nemesis. You just relax. Okay, yeah, thanks, condescending man. You're welcome. I'm glad we had this uh -huh. little chat. Yeah.